Well, boys, well done. That was no. big, big hindy over there. Um, it was good, yeah. Because your team, to be honest, is a few older guys, and there's a lot of kids who were playing, you know, their first first grade game and whatever. Uh, it's a bit of a mixture, but that was a great win. Yeah, good mix. Um, you know, we traditionally we haven't been travelling too well over there first up, but it was it was really a, a well-rounded performance from everyone. I think so. It was it was good to wait, come away with the two points. Well, mate, you, they were heavily favoured, and I actually tipped. Warriors, I got two out of eight, you'll be pleased to know, on the weekend and didn't tip you blokes, but um, you seem to play a different style of football to last year. I know you're a new coach. Was that the reason for it? You seem no mistakes, kick, hope for the best. I think that's pretty much, you nailed it there, no mistakes and kick and good kick chase. Um, we worked very hard on our game plan all pre-season and we stuck to it during the game and I think that's, that's why we came away with the points. If any changes, Jared Smash or your game, you sort of floated around a lot last year in the last couple of years. How did you find it sort of being, you know, you're basically stuck in spots at different stages? Yeah, I thought it was good. It's um, a lot more structured than what we're used to, so I think it's given um, you know, a lot of the younger boys a lot more confidence and to just come in and you know, really do their job and you know, not worry about anything else and um, you know, not worry about sort of all the off-the-cuff plays. Talk about the old dudes, Casey McGuire. He really had some, doesn't he, like... Just a real good decision maker. Yeah, he's a good find for us. I think um, he started his footy at Para, then often went to Brisbane. But he's just um, he's quite deceptive out of there. He's got a good game head on him, so he, he can read the play very well. So he's very handy to have there at the nine. Mate, was was the plan to put pressure on Fishy Aha, the, the winger? He dropped a few balls, and as soon as he dropped one, I suppose you you just kept going to him. Yeah, that's it. I think you know the, the first one was a bit rusty, so we just I was, I was hitting them sweet, and you know, I, I kept hitting them all night. So I just... the spiral. Spiral. Spiral's well, back. Will right. you be doing the most of the kicking, Jared? Because I think it's a part, of, a part of your game that we haven't seen a lot of in the last 12 months. It didn't seem to me like you kicked enough last year. Will you be doing more kicking this year? I think the long kicks, I'll probably jump in there and um, you know, try to get us out of trouble as much as, I, as we can. So, but I think you know, the halves, um, I really wrap, wrap that job up when we get you know, into the attacking sort of part. Mm. What about Birdie? I mean, one of the most underrated players in the game, breaking records everywhere. It's good for the old boy, yeah. Um, I think he broke 1,500 points on the weekend. I think he's one try away from breaking Kenny's record for the most tries for the club. So hopefully he can do it this Friday night against Penrith. One thing I noticed was um, you guys seem to be a lot fitter. He's obviously done a lot of training um, in the off-season. Yeah, we did. We got absolutely hammered in the off-season. <laughs> um, and it's, I did notice that. That was one of the things I noticed. You know, We were packing down for scrums and they were looking like they needed a rest and we were trying to hurry up with the game. So we... That's one thing I did notice about the team. Mm. We, we did seem a lot fitter. Tell Jared, us about any, the any trains or planes over there? Was there any of this? No, nah, no, it was, it was all business. So. Is that still, <laughs> <that's> still <laughs> going to be a trade of yours? Is this, have you got something new for us this year? Um, you know, I guess it's just something when I'm, when I'm in the zone. You know, it comes out. So. Yeah. It's good, mate. The fans love that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bring back the planes. Exactly. I, I want the train. I think the train would be better, like a bit of you know, rap dance and things like that. Heine does a good train. Can you do the train? Heine does a good train. I, I, can't, sc- I can't score. Yeah, gonna say, right. <laughs> well, you've got, a, you've got a danger game this week because um, everyone knows how poorly Penrith played on the weekend. They were pretty ordinary. But, you know, it's a bounce-back factor, and you've got them tomorrow night. You'll see it live on Channel 9. Uh, at uh, 7.30, uh, you are favourites in this one, but you must be, you know, fearing the Panthers and, and what they can produce, because you know they're better than that. Yeah, um, I think we touched on it from, from day one this week, you know, we said that they don't even listen to what, you know, they've been through all, all, all the game last week, you know, they're going to come out, they're going to come out hungry, um, they're going to come out fired up, and we, we know that we've prepared, prepared well, and, um, you know, we've... We're taking them on as a general threat because, you know, they are, and when they hit their straps, they are one of the best teams in the comp. What about Tamana Tahu signing with them? He, did he walk out on your club, or what happened there? Was he released? I can't remember. You don't know? <laughs> don't know. That doesn't worry no. you, folks, no. oh. he's playing for them? No, not at all. No, I, I think it's, it's good to see him back in the game because I think he's got a lot to offer. But um, we don't know the full story why he left the club, how he left the club, so... And we were very busy during the pre-season, so we, you know... We really didn't take too much into it. You know, he's not there. He's not not at us now. He's at Penrith, and that's pretty much it. You expect him to play? Not this weekend, no. No, he's there. I think he's not playing this week. What about your, your old pins of yours? I mean, how, what are you? Thirty-one now? Thirty-two? Thirty-one, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're they're full of steam, still mate. feeling good. <laughs> yeah, they're going. I've still played eighty, got eighty hours on the weekend. Yeah, so. I've seen him in the All Stars with his shirt off, and I haven't seen a better six pack than his. Is that right? It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. hectic. Oh, Thanks, mate. Come, fans. <laughs> <laughs>
So this is this is how you'll be in about 20 years, champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great. Can't wait. Now listen, what, yeah. you got some photos here, Darrell. I have. Look at this. Now, <laughs> the Telegraph have been showing some photos, and the club's done their photos. And not only this one, they've done some other ones as well. Jared, what's doing with the rock look here? Uh, the, the right eyebrow. Oh, no, you've got the left one out, and you can do either one. You're a genius. Look. <laughs> what's doing with this? Um, I guess, you know, we, we get that many photos, and you go there, you, you stand still, and he takes photos after photo, and you just yeah. you, you get bored and you get over it, so... You've got to mix your game up a bit, you know. I've been getting photos all my life and it gets, gets boring, so... How come you're the only one to mix your game up? What about yeah. the rest of them? Oh, they're all too scared, eh? They're yeah, I know. they got nothing. They've come out of the show. Just... Hey, Are you going to mix your about... game up? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Tell, you love, I love Wheat Bix. Eat Wheat Bix every day. I'm a Wheat Bix kid. You're a Wheat Bix kid now. Tell us about what, what your involvement with Wheat Bix. Yeah, I got, I got involved uh, with Wheat Bix um, through a friend, Sean Cahill, and it's been um, you know, great ever since, and... Um, they run triathlon events, and there's there's two left, two remaining, and they're up in Queensland. One's in yep. Brisbane. Brisbane, April 17, on April 17. Townsville on May 22. Yeah, and um, you know, it's for all the kids to sort of you know get involved and sort of you know get get, get amongst it and um, go out there and have fun. And you know, in, in Brisbane, they're giving ten dollars off everyone that um, signs up because of you know what's happened up there. And I think it's you know it'd be a good thing to sort of get the community involved. And you know, I was at. In, in the Sydney one, and you know, I, I sat back and gone. Yeah. I wish I had this when I was younger, because you know, all the kids are there. You know, they get a little backpack, they get um, you know, a medal. Everyone gets a medal, so it's a really good day. We've done a great job for it, and um, you know, I just want to encourage everyone up in Brisbane and Townsville to, to get out there and, and participate. How many a day? We six. Six. Mm. That's six. Him? What about you, Daryl? You with big uh, Well, that's for breakfast. Um, <laughs> I, I, I quite like them with Vegemite and peanut butter on them, and you can throw some chips on as well if you want. <laughs> Uh, your teammate Tim Mallon recently uh, celebrated his birthday, and both uh, he and his brother John are out the back. They're getting ready to come on and get Fats Cash. Uh, Cronulla taking on Parramatta. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming. Please thank the guys for coming on. Uh, Nathan and Jared. And just on Tim.